Uh, hello everybody, Ian Robson, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're doing a little job from Seattle to Everett, Washington. Uh, apparently we only have three, three <laughs> hours to do it in, and we are carrying scrap metal. Now the funny thing about this is, I am at the Kenworth plant carrying scrap metal into Peterbilt, which is kind of a, a, a funny combination if you ask me. So. I just I realized the the irony of it because I was like, oh, I'm actually in a Peterbilt, in a Kenworth factory, hauling scrap metal. So obviously with the Kenworths, I guess I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I just thought it was a kind of a funny combination of things. All right, so we are turning right here. Now I'm not in my normal Peterbilt. This is the Peterbilt three six seven, uh, from the Steam Workshop. My regular ride, when for whatever reason it wasn't working, which makes me sad, but gives me a chance to try this one out, I suppose. It's not as fancy as Viper Speeder Built. Oh, we don't want to go there. Where the heck is the exit here? Not that direction, apparently. So this is what the low looks like. A bunch of scrap metal. I thought the exit was this way. GPS is uh, not lying to me, but I just thought it was that way, so. Well, it is just on the road, not in the yard, basically, so. I've never actually been to this location, so it's kind of interesting to see what it looks like. Alright, that should be more than enough. There we go. See if we can't find the exit here. All right, that is not the exit there. Well, I kind of trucked way back in the one in this one section of the of the yard, and that's probably why I'm like I don't know where the exit is. All right, so we turn around here, so we go left. Try to retrace my steps here. And then, this is the main yard, I believe, I think we have to go right somewhere around here, ah, there we are, don't need to hit the scale so we can go around those. Good, here we go. Now we're actually en route. <laughs> All right, turning right here. It was confusing because on the other side, it looked like I was able to go just straight through here, but obviously I couldn't. Now, this truck actually has a GPS right there, which is a bit different than what I'm used to. Not a bad thing. It's just a bit different. It's actually good because then you can see what's going on with your GPS. Moving six. Nope. There we go. And. Keep right and then turn right. Nope, we don't turn right there. Okay, it's up here then. Turn right. Can do. I don't know if the roads are actually like that or not, or if I just messed up the uh, the graphics somehow, but I think they're actually like that. And it's funny, this engine is a powerful engine, but I feel like I don't have nearly as much power as I do in the Peterbilt 389. I don't know why that is, though. Also, I haven't played the game very often in the last little while, so that probably doesn't help either. There we go. Getting on the highway here. Let's get off into the, out of the exit lane here. There we go. Don't drink and drive. Drive safely. Obey the speed limit. It's a short little trek. I think it's like... I think it was 85 miles, something like that. Super keep short. Right, and then exit right. Oh, we're keeping right. Okay, can do. Exit right. All right, coming down. There 
go. Should be able to do that without rocking over. There we go. I think I actually increased the uh, tipping. I think it's a 50% since last last time I played. Oh, apparently we're going faster than I thought we were. 50 miles an hour. Let's change our info screen here to that. There we go. Speed limit is 40. Okay. There's an unexpected event on my route. Manual adjustments of your navigation are strongly recommended. Oh, again, eh? Keep left. They want me to keep right. So, that is a heck of a detour just to get through there. Because, like, I'd have to go down here, up and around, all the way around. Which is a huge detour. For an, eight <laughs> for an 85 mile distance, we might be able to sneak through here a little bit. Let's see here. They'll never know. Oh, look at that. How on earth did that happen? Yeah, I just didn't feel like... Uh, I really didn't feel like going uh, all the way around there. Um, for a couple reasons. First reason is, it's a ridiculous detour. Second reason is, I don't have that much time. <laughs> and there's the police officers, you know, checking in on me. I'm the only one taking this route. Must be going uphill. Yeah, we are. What's with all the helicopters and birds and whatnot? There we go. Should get to the right lane here. Now, this truck doesn't have a retarder in the transmission at all. Uh, so, when going down hills, you're only going to hear the Jake break. 60 which is kind of neat pretty much the way it works in real life too which is kind of sweet actually so and it depends on your jake brake I suppose or engine brake depending on what you want to call it some of them sound really interesting some of them are like eh uh, exit to the Darwin Ferry or FW FWY it looks like we do the take that actually. Keep left. No, oh, no, keep left. I was in the right lane already. Perfect. It's funny. Every now and then I'll see a truck on the highway, and I'll think about <laughs> American trucks, and I'm like, oh, I should pop into that game again, and uh, do a little bit of trucking. Although I always get excited to use that truck that I like using, but uh, not this time apparently. Right. And keep then right. to the Everett City Center. Right. Alright. Turn left. Alright. Can do. That one's coming there. Gotta turn the big brake off here. go go back up through the gears here Get ready to turn right. there we go all right right hand turn here in Everett turn right. bring it to a complete stop few people in real life actually come to a complete stop if we're honest there we go this is an easy truck. <laughs> Although this is the truck itself was long, the actual Get load ready. isn't. Oh, red light turn again. Left. Can't turn left. It's a red light, lady. Yeah. So the actual truck itself is uh, isn't very is long. It's got the long body on it, but the actual load isn't. This is what they call this particular paint job is called Whitney. 
I don't know if that's a particular design and I just don't know about it. I suspect it is. Let's get a quick little screenshot of that while we're looking at it. Uh, the photo studio. We would like photo mode, please. With the uh, cherry wood tree, or whatever that is. Apple blossom, I'm not sure. Not a video game tree expert. All right. There's FedEx. I'm going to go for it, apparently. All right, and it's right turn them up here. Perfect. At Walberts, is that where we're going? No, that makes no sense at all. Where are we going over there? Keep right and then turn right. Okay. Turn right. Gotta come to a stop. Take a look. We're clear. We're clear. There we go. Perfect. Do we really have to go all the way around? Apparently. Because we need to go somewhere on the other side of this median. So we're actually going all the way up. Yeah, right over there. The scrapyard. It's kind of neat, though. I guess we'll go get, get to go over. It looks like a bridge. It's a little bit of the countryside here. Vancouver, BC. There you go. It's kind of neat. Keeping keep right. Back in here, so I can see what's going on here. All right, do a big, do a big loop. Yield to oncoming traffic. There is none. We're good. Now we're just going back the same way we came because our destination is on the right-hand side up here, and we couldn't access it from the other side, basically. So. Alright, clear on that side. Got green lights. Keep right and then turn right. Keep right, then turn right. Uh, this is our turn, turn up here. Right. And where the backhoe is. Um I guess this is our drop Get off right. Right. Oh, actually, it's no, it's not here. Got a little too excited there. That is not our turn. It's the next one there. That makes a little bit more sense. I'm like, that's not a scrapyard at all. Here we go. And it was a nice ride. It was a nice ride. Oh, well, that's good to know. Let's play it safe. So here's the let's play it safe right here. Which isn't too bad, I suppose. Okay, swing it out, bring it back in. And that should line up ish. Perfect. Parking brake. Gotta go through a final loading. Let's see how we did. 86 miles. Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't want it. It was only 86 mile journey. That's why I was like, there's no way I'm gonna take that detour. Perfect. There we go, folks. That is it for me for today. I need to get off to work. My name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this little let's play of American Truck Simulator. And I'll catch you guys later.